Hi guys, this is Christina and you're watching Speak Better Feel Great TV, the place to boost your English and boost your career. Have you ever had a conversation with Americans and there were some things you just didn't understand? Even if you've got a decent level of English, you feel, well, a bit lost and confused when Bob the Big American says something like, well, you might want to have a look at your figures and then get back to me. What do you think? Um, what? Today, I'll show you what to do when you just don't understand the other person so that you never have to feel lost or embarrassed again. You ready? There are two simple techniques you can use when you don't understand someone. First, ask for repetition. And second, ask for a different explanation. We'll look at what you can say for each situation and how you can do it without just saying, could you repeat please? Believe it or not, studies suggest that up to 60% of professional communication between two Americans leads to misunderstandings. That means that Americans too are asking other Americans to repeat or to explain differently. If they can do it, so can you. So let's have a look at what you can say to understand better. Number one, asking for repetition. If you just want the person to say something again and you want to sound natural when doing it, you can say, what was that? Say that again. What did you say? Let's try it. I'm your American conversation partner and you want me to repeat what I say. Hey, what time are you thinking about going over to the venue? Yeah, I said, what time are you going to the venue? Usually, when people repeat, they say the same thing in a slightly simpler way because they realize that the other person is asking for repetition. Something was difficult to understand. Number two, asking for a different explanation. If you think you'd better understand with a different explanation, or maybe you're really not sure what the person is talking about, you can say, what do you mean? I don't get what you mean. I don't understand what you're saying. You may think I don't understand what you're saying is too direct, but actually it's okay if you make sure to sound polite. For example, I don't understand what you're saying sounds a lot better than I don't understand what you're saying. It's a lot more polite and it's definitely more polite than I don't understand. So let's try it. I'm your American conversation partner and you want me to explain something differently. Hey, I'm gonna go over to John's office and see if he's got everything ready for tomorrow, okay? For the presentation tomorrow, John's organizing everything and I want to make sure it's all ready. When people reformulate, they might add more details because they see that their first explanation wasn't so clear. So before we finish, here's something to always, always remember. When a conversation is not in your native language and you don't understand something, it's not automatically your fault. You may think that, but you're wrong. I know because I used to think the same thing when I didn't understand something that someone said in French, which is my second language. But I realized that the problem could also come from the way the other person speaks, the fact that I'm missing some information about the subject, or maybe there's just too much noise around us and the conversation is difficult. Just a recap, do you remember what to say for repetition? Go on, say the expressions to yourself and I'll wait.
What was that? Say that again. What did you say? And if you want them to explain differently, go on, say the expressions to yourself, and I'll wait. What do you mean? I don't get what you mean. I don't understand what you're saying. Here's a challenge for you. This week, try to use some of these expressions. And even if you do understand everything someone says in English, ask them to repeat or to explain differently. Hearing something twice never hurts. And it'll give you the opportunity to apply what you've learned in this video. Then come back and tell us about your experience in the comment section below. Remember, the best way to boost your English and boost your career is to work regularly on your English communication skills. The best way to make sure you do is to sign up for updates from the Speak Better Feel Great blog at christinarubafe.com. You'll get tips and resources every week delivered directly to your inbox. I'm Christina from Speak Better Feel Great TV. See ya!